I've been involved with Border Terry Club of the Redwoods. Our club is about 120 to 150 members total. It's a very small club. I wanted an indoor facility to protect all the exhibitors and the dogs from the weather. So a lot of competitors and their dogs are going to the nationals, which are the best in the country, so they're all going to be competing there. This is their last trial before going to that event next week. You get to the show and usually the first thing you do is set up your stuff. You've got to lug all your stuff out of the car for the dog. And then you take your dog for a walk, make sure that they potty. They're not allowed to go in the ring. And then you check in and get your course maps. There are maps printed to tell you what your course is going to be that's numbered. And then you wait for your walkthrough. My name is Ian Schluter. I came from Oakland to see the dog agility trials today. They have the dog come up to the start and the breeder or owner will run it through the course. We have two different kinds. There's jumpers with weaves, which is just the jumps and the weave poles. And then standard has the contact obstacles, the dog walk, the A-frame, and the teeter-totter. And they have different jump heights. We have four inch height, which is what Moose does and then 8 inches, 12 inches, 20, and 24. And they're timed, and if they knock down bars and stuff, it points get taken off. And there's three different levels. There's the most difficult is excellent, and then open is in the middle, and novice is the beginners. It's very important that they take care of their performance dog because the dogs are athletes. We're all particular in what we feed our dogs, mostly natural foods, holistic foods, nothing with preservatives, BHA, BHT, things like that. My dog Jesse is blue and tan and four months old. My mom and I really love the dog. We did quite a bit of research before we decided to buy a Border Terrier. What really appeals to me about the Border Terrier is its character. He's a tough little dog and a friendly little dog. He seems very loving with Ian and very loyal, uh, as well as very energetic, and I think that'll be a lot of fun. He's also kind of small, which will be good inside our small house. There's a companionship element, too. You get that real bonding between boy and dog that uh, I think will be really important. Well, it's more loose, and you have a companion to do it with. Like in chamber music, you're sitting there with a group of people just playing, and with this, you get to run around with a dog. And it's more fun, in my opinion. Ian is very busy with school and his music and all of those things, so he doesn't have a lot of chance to get outside and run around. So this seemed like a really good opportunity to have, have a reason to get outside and run around. And from what I see, it's a really active sport. You know, the trainers are running along beside the dog and you know, going through the whole course. It's wonderful exercise. It's very confident building for dogs that are a little shy. They get a chance to get out there with mom or dad and, you know, do something with them. It's just great in every way that you can imagine, so it's perfect. The agility community is really based on good camaraderie with each other, very supportive to one another, team efforts. This is wonderful. It's all the wonderful people that you meet and get to know through this sport. And it just, I was lucky enough to get into it when it was just starting and it was a very small group and now it's just bigger and bigger every year. People are just having such a great time with it. It's very positive, very fun, fun, fun thing to do and great, great people. This event was important for us to sponsor. I felt that it was more important for the Border Terry Club of the Redwoods to be in Santa Rosa based area where the Redwoods and the Sonoma County area is. Everybody had to learn. Just it's something that pretty much anybody could do, you know, if they're physically able to. So you can just see all these people out there, a lot of middle-aged women running around having a good time, you know, so it, it's definitely a sport for everybody. I enjoy dogs and I think it's really cool to watch them. That's the best part. People and you get to be with your dog all day long. You know, it's perfect. <laughs>